Imagine a day when the sky exploded and an unsolved mystery was born. This isn't the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster, but a real event that happened over a century ago. On June 30, 1908, in the remote Tunguska region of Siberia, something extraordinary occurred. Eyewitnesses reported a colossal fireball tearing across the sky, brighter than the sun. This wasn't just a spectacle for the eyes, the shock waves from the explosion were felt hundreds of kilometers away. Windows shattered, people were knocked off their feet, and seismic vibrations were recorded as far away as the United Kingdom. In the nights that followed, a strange, eerie glow illuminated the sky, a phenomenon that left scientists scratching their heads. The aftermath was catastrophic. Over 2,000 square kilometers of forest were flattened, trees felled like matchsticks in a radius of 30 kilometers. Yet, despite the extensive damage the cause of this devastating event remained elusive. Venture now into the heart of Siberia, where the quest for answers began. In the early 20th century, the isolated wilderness of the Tunguska region was a formidable barrier to investigation. The event occurred in 1908, but it wasn't until 19 years later in 1927 that the first scientific expedition led by Leonid Kulik arrived at the site. The expedition was fraught with challenges, not least of which was the harsh Siberian climate. But the biggest obstacle was the absence of what they were searching for. No impact crater, no fragments of a meteorite, nothing to suggest an earthly explanation for such a massive explosion. This lack of physical evidence was puzzling. The explosion was estimated to be about a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Yet, there was no smoking gun, no definitive proof of an extraterrestrial object. Such a conundrum sparked a flurry of theories each more intriguing than the last. The most widely accepted theory is that of an airburst caused by a meteorite or comet exploding several miles above the Earth's surface. This would explain the lack of an impact crater in the wide area of flattened trees. But without concrete evidence it remains just that, a theory. Then there are the more exotic theories. Some propose that the Tunguska event was the result of a mini black hole passing through Earth. Others suggest it was an explosion caused by antimatter coming into contact with matter. There are even those who believe it was the work of extraterrestrial beings. The lack of definitive evidence has given rise to a multitude of theories, each with its own band of ardent supporters. These theories, while fascinating, often blur the line between science and speculation. They reveal more about our human desire for answers than they do about the event itself. The Tunguska event has become a playground for both scientists and conspiracy theorists. But the truth remains shrouded in mystery. The Tunguska event, a century-old enigma, still echoes in our collective consciousness. This dramatic cosmic occurrence in the remote Siberian wilderness has left an indelible mark not only on the landscape but also on our culture and science. In the realm of pop culture, the Tunguska event has inspired a wealth of creative works, from novels and films to video games, all weaving tales around this unsolved mystery. These narratives often portray Tunguska as a symbol of the unknown, the inexplicable, and the awe-inspiring power of nature. Beyond storytelling, the Tunguska event has significantly influenced the scientific community. It has spurred advancements in the study of meteor impacts, prompting researchers to delve deeper into the risks and consequences of such events. Moreover, it has galvanized efforts in planetary defense, sparking conversations about how we can protect our planet from potential cosmic threats. The Tunguska event, a fiery enigma from the past, continues to ignite our curiosity. As we probe the cosmos for answers, one can't help but wonder, what if it happens again?